Hey, what's up, my fellow twisters? Welcome back to another episode of our Let's Build series, where we're creating a redstone base on Mars. We've done a lot of amazing builds on this map so far, but I do have some bad news before we get into today's video. Now, if you guys watch episode 10, it was basically a time lapse where I made a Pokeball out of our dome and then some other cool things, but basically none of it saved. Look at this, guys. The map is just what it was before the time lapse. And I'm super frustrated because that took about three hours to create. We had a huge highway over here with a Pokeball dome as well as some towers on the left and right hand side. And I thought it was super cool and now it's all gone. So it's going to take a really long time to terraform the area again and add in all of those decorations. But I'll try to do it on my own time and make it even better. But I really need your guys' support since that's a huge bummer and it really doesn't make me feel like doing the series anymore because like I said that was three entire hours of work but anyways guys let's go ahead and get started with today's episode now in today's episode we're going to work on the inside make it a lot better and also do some really cool projects all right so over here I did even out the terrain at the back of my redstone house as you guys can see on the right side I did smoothen it out to go towards the water at the bottom on the left I made it kind of abrupt and just cut off beneath our bridge what we're going to do is basically build up a wall of decoration over here in order to hide that a bit better and then make a small rainforest type jungle in this area not like that on that side but just make it more viney as well as filled with water and over here we're going to make a terrace farm and then we're going to do some other cool decorations to the backyard like maybe a pool or something like that but either way guys let's go ahead and uh, get started so what we need to do is first figure out a pattern for the wall I went ahead and did that before the video and what we're going to do is basically grab ourselves our mossy stone bricks place one down into the ground count four blocks over and place another one into the ground place a block at the back like that a block over there grab ourselves our spruce wood stairs place them upside down in these locations then in between these we want to go ahead and place down our oak wood that's facing this way so let's go ahead and place it just like that and then we need to grab ourselves our cobblestone place our cobblestone right at the middle then we want to place down three of our jungle leaves just like that then we need to grab ourselves our stone brick stairs place it facing the normal orientation right beside our leaves then we want to go ahead and place down um, some of our mossy stone bricks on the left and right hand side. We place down some of our oak wood sideways just like that. We grab ourselves some cobblestone, place down two on the left, two on the right. Then what we want to go ahead and do is place down our cobblestone right in the middle. Then grab ourselves our spruce wood stairs yet again, place them upside down in these locations. And that's basically going to be the pattern for our wall. We're going to repeat it just like that. And also since this is eight blocks tall, we could go ahead and just uh, stack it on top of each other in order to make this wall look a bit better. Anyways, guys, this wall is going to take a really long time for me to figure out. So what I'm going to do is to speed up the video while I build it. So there is our wall and it looks really good, definitely fitting into the bottom of our bridge. Now what we're going to do is decorate the area a bit more. What we're going to do is make a small lake over here with a tree in the middle, as well as a terrace farm on this side with some carrots and weeds. Now if you guys don't know what a terrace farm is, I will put a picture of it on the screen. That is basically what we're doing and I'm using our wood planks as a temporary block for now. We will replace it after we have made the farm. Now let's go ahead and show you guys guys how I actually did this. What I did was first place down an area of four blocks long and then I moved over one, four blocks again, then eight blocks over here, then four blocks, four blocks, and four blocks until I hit the wall. And now what I did to extend this up was basically move one block to the top and then I moved two blocks over. So as you can see, there's a space of two over here, a space of two on this side, and then anywhere you go on this farm, there is a space of two between our wood planks, just like that, except for the top, of course, because that was the final layer. So that's basically how I did that, it's super simple. Now let's go ahead and place down our water and then create our farm. What we're going to do is destroy the block right over here and place down some water on all of our areas. So let's just go ahead and do that, the bottom right-hand block. All right, so there we go. That 
that is now our water placed down into our farm the next thing we need to do is grab ourselves our hoe and just you know teal the grass until all the grass is tealed then we could plant our carrots as well as our wheat so there is our entire farm now tealed it looks like it's getting the right amount of water what i'm going to do now is basically place down our wheat as well as our carrots bone meal it and then show you guys how it looks that is how our farm is going to look when it's completely grown out i do have to admit the oak wood planks does look a bit out of place but as we modify the terrain we can modify the block so it is better suited i was thinking maybe something like stone bricks would make it look a bit better but anyways let's go ahead and build this small lake and this is basically going to be a three by three circle if that makes any sense basically a circle with a three radius and to do this we would basically build down three slabs just like this on the corner build out two like that and then on this side we change the direction build out two and then build out three so basically as you guys can see that is the one quarter pattern and we're basically going to repeat this around the entire structure three over here two over here two on this side three Three, two, and two. And if you guys notice, either side that we're looking, there is two, three, and two two three and two and that is basically how you would make this circle now i did blow up a tnt right in the middle to make the hole so you guys can just go ahead and do that and once you have it you want to replace all the blocks in here with our grass which would eventually turn into dirt and then you want to fill in this hole with some of our water now before we do that i want to go ahead and build out one two three four blocks and then do that on all of the different sides so one two three four and then one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, just show the blocks connecting it to the sides. And we're going to make a small island in the middle for our tree to be grown on. So there we go, that is going to be our tree and we can extend the land as we see fit. But let's go ahead and just bone meal this and grow that tree right at the middle. And we do need to get one that's really tall. We could build a custom tree or we could uh, spawn one down, whichever one is easier for you guys. But uh, what I'm going to do is build myself a custom tree in order to make it look a bit better So let's just go ahead and remove all of these leaves and then extend our terrain just like this into a 3 by 3 block radius And then build that one block on either ends to make a small island and now we can fill it in with water All right, so now let's just go ahead and place down water in this entire area Just like that and if you guys have world edit you could do this a bit faster, which is what I'm going to use but for now, I'm going to try to fill it in as best as I can using, you know, the tools I do have in Minecraft. Alright, so here we go. That is our water. Let's just go ahead and place down a block over here to remove that water. Remove the water over there. And it looks like we have a decent pond going on. <laughs> Alright, so now what I'm going to do is basically do slash fix water since I have world edit. And then type in a radius of 10 in order to fix this water and our pool. So that's basically how it's going to look. Now what I'm going to do is create a custom tree in order to make this look a bit better. Now before we do that, I'm gonna place down some lily pads in this area, as well as I maybe will extend some of these grass blocks in order to make it not look so, uh, you know, man-made. So I'll just make it look a bit weird so it looks a bit more natural. So there we go, that's going to be my small island. And I'm also going to fill in some of our dirt at the bottom in order to make it look like this isn't floating above the water as it is. All right, so I built a pretty simple tree. It's just a couple blocks taller than the normal Minecraft tree as well as the top is pretty much the same, nothing too fancy. I also replaced all of the floor blocks at the back with our grass. Now what we're going to do is bone meal the area and add in some of our floral decorations. So over here, what I want to use add in some of our tulips of course because this is a nice pawn so let's just go ahead and do that maybe i want to grab myself some white tulips as well and just place these down just like that and then we want to bone meal right at the center bone meal around this area hopefully some flowers do spawn down and i don't like the amount of grass that's being spawned but i will thin it out after we are done so let's just go ahead and place down some of our bone meal right on this hill and just cover up the entire area make it look a bit more lively and a bit more realistic so there we go place down some bone meal all across these spots and so far, as you guys can see, it's already starting to look a lot better than what it was. So decorating our ground with floral decorations is definitely one of the easiest ways to make the area look more lively and better. And I do recommend you do it because it definitely improves the map a lot. So let's see. Can we place down some bone meal over here? 
I think it will look kind of good and we're just going to end it off on this small hill because I don't want to do it to the entire terrain just yet but as you guys can see this portion of the map compared to the rest of it looks a lot better all right so now guys what I'm going to do is replace our oak wood planks right over here and then move on to our pool and I did get some lag but let's go ahead and do that so I replaced those blocks over there and I also made a layout of some of the structures I want to build now I originally wanted to create a pool but I think if we build a basketball court and a tennis court that will be more suited for a space habitats because of course you need exercise more than you need a luxury pool and what we're going to do is basically make a outdoor patio behind our house which is going to go through right over here and then a staircase that's going to lead down into those two spots and maybe we could include the pool on this side but at the moment I think building the tennis court and the basketball court is going to be just fine all right so I did outline it with courts now what we have to do is go ahead and add in the blocks that we need to make this look a bit better. So let's begin building our deck. I did make the floor out of our red stained clay because I think it suits the house a bit better. And the first thing I'm going to do is create a redstone grill, something I've never done before in this particular design. But I'm going to grab myself some sandstone blocks, place one down on the left, skip a block, place one down on the right, place three right over here at the back of those blocks, and then grab ourselves some of our sandstone slabs, place three over here, and then one at the very top in the middle, destroy the block at the bottom, place down a dispenser at the back with a sandstone block on the face of that, another rack block right over here, then place our wooden trap door at the top section of this block, place down our pressure plates, so let's just go ahead and grab those on the left and right hand side, and then we need to go ahead and place down a bit of redstone dust there with a lever over here, and then some fire charges inside that dispenser in order to make it work. What's going to happen is we basically flick this lever and it turns on the fire for our barbecue of course it's just for role playing and this does not actually work compared to the other ones I've made in the past but it's still pretty cool and very compact of course we can make this redstone a bit better but for the moment I think that is just fine anyways guys let's go ahead and continue building up our deck what I'm going to do is uh, grab ourselves a glass block that we could use to build this up or maybe a glass pane and I might use our gray stained glass pane or maybe the white ones let's see which one looks better and just connect it towards our grill and just wrap it around just like that and I think the white one looks a bit better. And also, our, since our lever is over here, we can't really, you know, connect it up, which like I said, we'll try to improve that design in just a minute. But at the moment, I think just placing these down over here looks just fine. All right, so let's just go ahead and con continue this all the way down to the end and continue it over here as well. Place down a block over here in the ground and then place down our glass over there. And so far, our deck is looking pretty good. Now, what I want to do is replace these blocks down here with our red stained clay and this is going to be one two three four five six blocks long with our quartz at the very end i'm going to grab myself some quartz slabs and build it up one layer or half a layer above our red stained clay so it looks a bit better so as you can see that is pretty much how it's going to look and then we can go ahead and build in some redstone lighting to the outside all right, so what I did was extended the level of our grass all the way down to this side because I think it would be much easier to build and also give us a lot more room. And also what I'm going to do is place down our redstone lamps behind or under these slabs in order to hide them a bit better. And this is going to still give us the lighting since our slabs are transparent. All right, so let's just go ahead and place down our redstone lamps beneath those slabs and place down some over here as well because that's also going to give us some lighting for the deck and now we could add in some more decorations to this area so let's just go ahead and cover up these uh, spots that we just dug out first before we go ahead and do that and the next thing I want to do is of course create my tennis and basketball courts and also create a walkway to wrap around them and this walkway is going to be outlined by our oak leaves as well as by some gravel so let's go ahead and grab ourselves some gravel which I usually never use in my bills but we're going to use today so what we're going to do is basically make a two wide gravel path that's going to wrap around from this side going all the way around to our basketball field as well as our tennis court and wrap all the way across 
across this side, then wrap across here, and then go across the middle once again. So that is going to be our gravel path. Now let's go ahead and add in some more decoration. Now what I'm going to do is select this entire area and add in a line of our redstone lamps surrounding our gravel. So let's just go ahead and do set our redstone lamps. And as you guys can see, it will basically create a line of redstone lamps just like that. Now we want to go ahead and create one on this side as well. So let's just go ahead and do that. And we're going to activate this all using redstone. But first, let's go ahead and place down some oak leaves right on top, surrounding our gravel path yet again. And this is going to create a very lovely design for our entire outside area. So let's just go ahead and do that. There we go. And I think we only need one on this side and then we can extend it over here as well, but that should be good. All right, so there we go. And now we grab ourselves some of our slabs, place it down over there, and just place down our red stained clay in that area and replace it, and boom! Now that is some decoration, and we are going to be adding in a ton more. Now I'm debating whether I should add some to this side, but I think I definitely should, as well as maybe add some decoration into this corner. So there you go, now let's go ahead and build up our tennis court and we'll move on to our basketball court. So to build our tennis court, you need to find the center block. Once you've done that, you want to fill out a line to make it look more exaggerated. And then what we want to do is build up one block on the left, build up one block on the right and replace the middle with our cobweb. So that should look something just like that. It's basically going to represent a net and then you can replace the floor blocks either using world edit or you could do it manually. But in my case, I'm going to replace the floor with some coal blocks for the moment. So there we go, that's how it's going to look. It looks pretty interesting and maybe in the future I will replace it with different colored stained clay. I don't know the block IDs for those, which is why I just set our coal in that area. All right, so let's just go ahead and make the floor of this court as well out of coal blocks. And like I said, you can replace it to any color that you like that's in Minecraft. All right, so to do our basketball course, all we need to do is basically make a pattern or a half circle on this side. And to do this, what we want to do is build out one block over here, on one block on this side, as well as one block over there, one block over there, two blocks over there, and then one block over there. So that's basically going to be our basketball court half circle. It looks pretty good and it's pretty simple to build. All right, so let's just go ahead and do that one more time. One block over here, there, over here, there, and then two at the very edge. All right, so there you go. That's our next half circle. And as you can see, it's definitely coming together. Now, the last thing we do need to do is of course, build our basketball hoop. And that's going to be a bit of a challenge since this is 10 blocks wide. There's actually no center block. And I'm gonna to try to figure this out and then I'll get back and I'll show you guys what I did. So there is our basketball hoop. And as you guys can see, it is colored after our court. I switched it up to red versus blue. It looks really cool and it suits the map even though it does not look that great all right so now let's go ahead and build the one on the red side what we need to do is basically find the two center blocks then build this up by four using our oak wood fencing and you guys can maybe use some nether fencing i guess it would look a little bit better but now what i want to do is grab ourselves our red stained glass place down two over here then place down two white stained glass on top and then place down two red stained glass over here and then grab ourselves these uh quartz blocks and basically place one like this, one like uh, upside down over here, one right side up, then one right side up, one upside down, and then place down our red stained glass over there, red stained glass over there, place down two of our cobwebs and boom! That is basically going to be our two different uh, basketball hoops and I think it's actually one block shorter on this side. So we'll have to modify that because it's going to give the other team a handicap. But you guys get the idea, those are our basketball hoops. Now let's go ahead and move on to the rest of our backyard. So the next thing I will be doing is adding in a pattern to our grass. I have not decided which block I will do it out of yet, but it's either going to be our lime wool, our green wool, our stained clay, or our slime blocks. And I think it's going to be the slime blocks since it looks the best. Now if you guys don't 
don't know what I'm doing, I'm just going to fast forward and then show you guys the finished product. Okay, so there's our pattern in the grass. I'm not sure if you guys like that, but I think it looks pretty cool and makes the house look a bit more up class, even though it's supposed to be a base on Mars. Either way, I do want the house to look good, and I think that's a great addition into the map. Anyways, I also replace our tennis court blocks with our light stains or light blue stains clay and it looks purple but that's the name of the block if you guys do want to make it exactly like mine anyways guys what i'm going to do is add in some decorations to the back the first is going to be three logs facing this way and then we want to place down five logs facing this way so one two three four five and what we're going to do is basically create a circular yet rectangular area for a small garden. And we're going to replace this across the entire backyard so it's not so plain with this texture. Alright, so now let's go ahead and build this out. There you go. And then replace the blocks in the middle with our grass, just like that. Just a regular grass, not the slime blocks. And now what we're going to do in this middle area is either plant a small garden, plant a tree, or just add in some water, which will definitely improve how the map looks. So what I'm going to do is uh, basically build up a couple blocks just like this, and then place down some water right over here, maybe just like that, and grab ourselves some Pudzul as well as coarse dirt to diversify this small little habitat that we're trying to create. Place down some Pudzul over here maybe, place down over here, dirt over here. And I think it looks pretty interesting. Now what we could do is place down an oak sapling and then bone meal that for it to grow. And that's going to create a small mini garden. Place down some bone meal in these areas to grow some of our grass. As well as we could plant down some ferns and some poppies and flowers yet again to diversify the area a bit more. So let's just go ahead and do that. Plant down some of our flowers and maybe also some of our dandelions or daisies so let's just go ahead and place down some daisies over here and what's cool about coarse dirt is that it stays dirt forever if you guys did not know and you can also plant stuff on it and boom so now we're just going to place down a bunch of those across the area but at the moment i think that one over here is over there it's kind of out of place but we'll see how it goes so anyways guys, as you can see I did add in some decorations and also bone meal the back, but that is basically going to wrap up today's video. I will work more on it in the next episode. If you guys did enjoy this episode and you want to see more of my Let's Build series, please take one second to smack the like button. I really do need your support. Since that's a three hour recording was basically useless and after we do all of it, you're you know, your likes and your comments really do help because it helps motivate me to create more of these videos. Anyways, guys, this was Twist. I appreciate you watching all the way to the very end. This was Twist, and I'll see you all next time.